Welcome back to our discussion on theories of evolution. In the last session, we discussed about the theory of natural selection. And now we are going to see the criticisms of that particular theory, which was the theory of natural selection. So in the particular theory, Darwin did not make any distinction between heritable and non-heritable variation. He did not explain the origin of variations on which the natural selection works. Because in that particular time, now we know that variations are because of meiosis. And during that particular time of Darwin, uh, there was no idea of which, uh, how a cell appears or how a cell divides, etc. As a result, he was uh, unable to explain how variations are or variations originate in individuals. And he also did not explain the mechanism of inheritance, how the gametes pass on to the next generation. And another thing that was not explained is about the vestigial organs. And if natural selection uh, drives evolution, uh, they, uh, the paleontologists, they suggested that there would be more intermediate stages, but no fossil records of such stages were present. That, also a that uh, was also a criticism to Darwinism. And he also could not explain the occurrence of distinct phenotypical differences in males and females, like the antlers present in uh, the deers and also the manes of uh, male lions, etc. So the existence of such structures was also not explained in this particular uh, theory. And he also could not explain the sterility of hybrids. So these were the criticisms which were raised uh, towards the natural selection theory. And to uh, explain uh, this particular criticisms or to overcome these criticisms, uh, Darwin uh, proposed supplementary theories to support the natural or the criticism uh, or to uh, support the natural uh, selection theory and to avoid the criticisms or to overcome the criticisms and those theories are considered to be the supplementary theories of Darwinism or Darwin and the three supplementary theories are the sexual selection theory, the artificial selection theory and the theory of pangenesis. So first one is called as a sexual selection theory and this was explained to uh, or to uh, to explain the origin of the secondary sexual characters uh, like the mane of lion male lions the uh, beautiful feathers or the beautiful uh, feathers of the peacock and such structures which are seen uh, in males and uh, in um, not in females and uh, darwin suggested that these uh, features are not important in the struggle for existence and this is actually important in mate selection. So in such cases, there is a struggle among males to get the females. And here, female selects the males with brilliant coloration or ornation or ornamentation. So in sexual selection, females are the selecting agents. But when you come to natural selection, nature is the selecting agent. So this is how Darwin explained uh, the presence of such structures in uh, in the males of one group because males and females are to be alike according to natural selection theory but uh, because both should be having the same fittest uh, structures but the presence of uh, some modified structures in males was the question in the criticism and he answered this ac accordingly to the sexual selection theory and he also explained the existence of natural selection theory by proposing another theory which is called as the artificial selection theory so he explained that evolution of certain species could be altered by man. For example, when we select poultry like the hen or uh, 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 cattle etc. We select uh, those cattle uh, for two categories either for milk production either for uh, meat production. Uh, we will weed out the ones which are giving uh, lesser milk or lesser meat, etc. As a result, man is selecting from the group of uh, cattle which is having higher quality. The characters decide are uh, designed by man, the uh, what he needs. So there, man is a selecting agent. The same with uh, uh, the poultry, uh, the uh, uh, the hen or duck, whatever it is, it, which is producing more number of eggs will be selected or which is gaining more weight will be selected. The others will not be selected. The wild ones will not be selected. 
so there if man is uh, or such a selection can be made by man as a result of that selection uh, or the next generation in that particular farm will be those uh, hen or chicken which is having which is laying more egg or producing more meat the same with the cattle so that man if man can alter uh, the uh, or uh, can alter this uh, group of individuals or uh, can select and alter uh, the particular group of uh, uh, population or cattle or hen or whatever it is the same thing will be done by nature that is how he explained uh, natural selection can happen or it happens in the in nature uh, the third is the theory of pangenesis this was uh, explained or this was uh, proposed to explain the mechanism of heredity and variation but it was disproved um, to be uh, uh, it was disproved and uh, proved uh, proved wrong and uh, what darwin suggested was that because during the time of darwin even though mendel had found out the hereditary material like the functional unit not the dna uh, not uh, uh, the uh, the division etc uh, uh, mendel had or rigor mendel from his experiment he has postulated something which is called as the uh, unit characters which is responsible for the hereditary of info, uh, transfer of information uh, but because uh, mendel's uh, theories were uh, Uh, did not see light till the 1900s darwin didn't knew about such things as a result he proposed a theory to explain hereditary or hereditary uh, mechanism and variation he said that minute particles called the pangenes or gemmules are secreted by all cells of the body into body fluid so uh, from when an, in an individual all his every body cell so he suggested such a theory that every body cell produces a fluid like material which is called as pangenes or gemmules which is secreted into the body fluids and all these gemmules from every cell so all the eye cells will have gemmules all the, your hands will have gemmules all that will be collected in the gametes and that gets mixed up in the next generation that is the, uh, this causes the blending of the traits from both the partners so uh, and he also explained or tried to explain uh, the same that is acquired uh, inheritance of the acquired character because uh, uh, when gemmules are produced by every part of the body uh, that particular portion or the phenotype is also being uh, transferred he also said he was of the opinion that the phenotype of that uh, parent is also being transferred uh, phenotypic variations are also being transferred with us uh, put forth by lamarck which is called as the inheritance of acquired character and both this was proved to be wrong by the germplasm theory by august wiesman and uh, to uh mark the invention or the particular term which is called as the gene uh, when genes were to be coined they took uh, the word gene from this particular term which is called as pan genes and this theory is called as a theory of pan genesis uh, so uh, this should not be con- uh, this should not be confused with the theory of panspermia which we discussed in uh, the earlier theories of uh, origin of life Uh, so this is uh, the next topic which is neo darwinism or modern synthesis so uh, after the advent of uh, genetics after the advent of genetics uh, neo darwinism or modern synthesis was proposed and this is uh, generally used to describe any integration of uh, uh, the charles darwin's theory of evolution of by natural selection with uh, gregor john mendel's theory of genetics so uh, the combined Uh, theories of natural selection and genetics is called as modern synthesis uh, so this is uh, being put forth by these four points uh, all the evolutionary phenomenon can be explained with uh, the uh, current or consistent with known genetic mechanisms and observed evidence of naturalists like paleontological evidences etc and evolution is a gradual or a small change accumulating over long periods and discontinuities among species are also explained by geographical separation extinction etc and uh, they also say that natural selection is the main mechanism that fixes variation evolution can be clearly explained on the basis of population uh, than at the level of individuals the genetic diversity existing in natural population is a key factor for evolution so this is what is called as modern synthesis of evolution
so after modern synthesis the uh, the recent development in the evolutionary theory is something which is called as the neutron neutral selection theory which was proposed by uh, kimura a scientist uh, called as uh, kimura uh, so that will be or that particular neutral selection theory will be explained in a, uh, a youtube lecture which is following this thanks for hearing